Sejahtera, you're with me, Shafika Farhain Razali on Teras Adidik TV, KPM, your favourite programme. And today, we're learning a very interesting subject. As you can see, I'm fully dressed to embrace today's lesson. But as you can see here, I'm actually not in the Didik TV studio. Where am I? Hmm, what do you think, kids? Where am I actually now? To know more about this, let's have a special guest with us in the studio to explain to us. Let's have him here. Didik TV. KPM. Wow, well, it's one day after the 64th National Day this year and we're still having the spirit of Merdeka living up today. And with me in the studio is none other than Mr. Nabil here with us. Hi everyone and Hello. happy National Day to all Malaysians. Yeah, and we have all flags here to embrace the spirit. Correct. Mr. Nabil, I'm loving your hat. Oh, thank you so much. This what? is the Tanja. Tanja. Oh, one of the cost, uh, one of the uh, element in Malay traditional costume. Of course, and we look like very Malaysian today. Correct, embracing. just want to embrace our national day. Of course. Which is last, uh, yesterday. Which is yesterday and yes. still with us as usual, we have our lovely students who will be joining us. Can we have them here right now? Hello students. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness, everyone is looking very sharp and very nice today. Hello. Can I know every one of you, perhaps starting with Alia. Hello, Hi. Alia. Good morning. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Alia Natasha. You can call me Alia. My favourite entertainment is playing piano. Uh, wow, wow, that was a very lovely introduction by Alia then. Next, can I have Muhammad Naki? Hi, Naki. Hi, Naki. Hello, everyone. My name is Muhammad Naki Aiman and you can call me Naki. My favourite entertainment is watching reality show. Wow. wow! I'm excited too as well, aren't you? Yes, of course. I love the, uh, the TV, reality TV show as well. Of course. All Who right. doesn't? Okay, next, can we have Irfan? Hello, Irfan. Hi! Hi, everyone. My name is Irfan Afam. You can call me Irfan. And my favorite entertainment is reading novels. Wow, wow, something different. Something different. Wow, he's he a bookworm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why not during pandemic, we read novels at home. It's a good time filler. Correct. Other mm -hmm. than watching movies, we can also read novels, right? Of course, I totally agree. Okay, next student, can we have Hannah Alina? Hello. Hi. My name is Hannah Alina. Uh, you can call me Hana, and my favorite entertainment is watching horror movies on Netflix. Wow! Wow! wow she loves Netflix watching and movies. Chill. Okay, <laughs> that's a very good choice. All right, next, can we have Noor? Who do we have next? Ooh! Huh? Uh, Mashita, hello. Mashita, hello. Introduce yourself. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Noor Mashita, and my favorite entertainment is listening to podcasts. Podcast! Ah, podcast! Podcast, wonderful! Wow. I love podcasts, they always share valuable insights. Okay, and for your information, uh, all these students are from SMK Taman Daya 2, wow. Johor Bahru. You're in school, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. They are so, so excited amazing. excited to have them. And last but not least, this last student, can we have them introduce yourself, please? Hi, everyone. Hello. My name is Akil Kulan. You can call me Akil. Uh, my favorite entertainment is watching movies. Mm -hmm. Wow, watching movies. Wow. Who does not like to watch movies? I know, right? right? And today, I'm pretty sure all the students out there are excited to learn because we're learning behind the scenes, as Mr. Nakib mentioned just now, and also we're learning an entertainment. Correct. So, yes. that entertainment is basically on Unit 10 Form 3 in uh -huh. the Close Up the Textbook. Okay. All oh, right. So, something very interesting because yes. we want to bring the, we want to let them have the feeling of touring of behind course. the scenes. So yes. if they can't go here, mm -hmm. so we bring the touring to them at oh, home. Of course, Miss Senabe, why don't we start? Oh right. So basically, what is this room? Hmm, mm. I wonder. It looks very fascinating. We have lots of monitors, mm -hmm. panels. Mm -hmm. Wow, lots of switches as well. Of course. All right. Oh, this is the. A camera control unit and lighting room. What does it do, Mr. Nabil? Wow. Oh, 
Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the CCU or the camera control unit uh -huh. panels. Okay. So let us see the magic behind this panel. Uh -huh. I see that also. There's lighting inside the studio as well. Correct. That so means... how, how does it work basically? Mm -hmm. So normally they will switch on and switch off the lights for that panel. This yeah, one? Yeah, that one is for the lighting ah, part. Okay. All right. So whatever that you can see in the television, mm -hmm. so basically it's controlled by them, especially on the lighting. So that means without them, the studio will be dark. Dark! Yes, oh. correct. And these are the technical crew. Okay, Mr. Nabe, why don't we go next door? To oh, we have more room. rooms, right? We do. Wow, it's very interesting. Uh -huh. Okay, why not you go first? Wait, hold on. Yeah? We forgot something. Yes. We need to switch on the light first to the studio. So, Rex, so we are going to show them yes. the magic behind the behind the scenes. Okay, let's <laughs> All right. have All right. Uh, Mr. TP, our technical producer, to help with that. Wow. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, amazing! <laughs> okay, ah. Mr. Rafael, we have our studio lit. Thank you. Yes. And then let's go next door for All our right. next tour. Mr. Nabil? Yes? I wonder some of um, the students might uh -huh. not have experienced this before. Yes, correct. So I'm very excited to introduce this to them today yeah. because this is like an exclusive tour for everyone to find out more what happens behind the scenes. Definitely, that's why mm. I'm taking this opportunity to bring everyone of you to bring behind the scene on this Backstage. Of course. Uh -huh. How exciting. So this is the backstage of K the Didi TV KPM for your information. And now are we, we are in the control room okay. or production control room. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this is how everything is organized and managed. Oh, uh -huh. It's one of the most important rooms. Correct. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of people over here and they are very important. Mm -hmm. And we have, ooh, who do we have here? Wow, we have the studio director uh -huh. and also the producer. Wow, what is a show without studio director and producer? Correct, so mm -hmm. they are basically monitoring everything mm -hmm. to show the best for the TV show. Of course. Wow. Oh, you can, if you can see, there are lots of monitors, panels and switches as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then we have the assistant uh, producer. producers, right? Uh -huh. And the... Uh, Video, uh, video editor! editor. Wow. So everyone is here that saves. Yeah, okay. whatever you can see over here is mm -hmm. basically done particularly to make sure everything looks smooth and nice on television so that you can comprehend whatever the teachers is the teacher uh, are teaching, uh, teaching uh, in TV, especially right. in this Didi TV KBN. Mm -hmm. I agree. Eh, wow, there are lots of things that we learned today. I know, right? But, mm, I think we're missing something. Oh, I mm. think. Oh, we have another room. We have one more room. All right, so let's go. You want to find out, kids? Let's go. Wow. We're going to the next room. All right. It's so right this is the backstage door. of the Direct TV KPM. Yes, it's the backstage. So this is the third room. And oh, <gasps> what wow. do we have here? Whoa. Uh -huh. Only one person is managing the whole thing. Yes, just wow. one person job. And this is what room, Shafika? This is actually, kids, the audio room. The that audio means, room? Uh-huh. Without the audio room, there would be no sound. Oh, of course. So you can't listen to us and uh -huh. you cannot hear anything. We are going to be very, to be very mute if, of let's course. say, we do not have the control room. Uh, and yes. this is the technical crew as well. Mm -hmm. uh, is doing and managing the audio so that you can listen to me yes. and Shafika marvelously. Of course, Mr. Nizam is our very own audio man. Perhaps he can explain what he does. Is he doing right here? Okay, maybe you can... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, so, there are lots of switches as well. Of course. And ah. as usual, we have the microphones in the studio. Oh, correct. Like what we ah. have right now. Yes, what we have oh, right now, okay. I'm wearing and Mr. <laughs> Nabil is also wearing. Yes. And he controls every sound so it doesn't have a high pitch, it's not too low. Right, Mr. Nizam? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's great, Mr. Oh, Nabil. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Nizam was the one who put on my microphone just now. Ah. 
Ah, uh, because he will always ensure that the microphone, the sound was is going to be very amazing. Ah, that's true. What a heavy job, but good job, Mr. Nizam. Okay, congratulations, Yay. amazing. Okay. Wow. So those are the three parts on the backstage of Didik TV KPM. Yes. Oh, so what are we going to do next? Okay, uh -huh. now, the highlight of the show, of course, we have explored the three studios, the control room, the audio room, and also the CCU and lighting. And right now, we're going to start the show. Let's go on over let's go to, to the, the stage. stage. But before that, I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of students want to know more about you. So let's take a look at Mr. Nabil's profile. KPM of Didi TV KPM with Mr. Nabil today. Hi. Yes, and as usual just now because we've been so many through rooms and yes. we've discovered a lot of rooms actually. Correct. What are those? Oh, so those are the backstage of the Dead TV KPM. Uh -huh. And right now we are in the studio and it's also known as... The stage, stage of course. <laughs> and without the backstage, the CCU, the audio room and also the control room, we cannot have the stage perform at its best. Correct. All right. And we still have our students online, which is Alia, Nakib, Irfan, Hana, Nurmashita and also Akil with us today, learning Bahasa Inggris or yes. the English language uh, with Madina the subtopic Arunda. that's entertainment behind the scenes. Behind yes, the, scenes. the lower secondary level. Correct. So right. that's why we are having all these amazing things related to entertainment. Uh, yes. All right. And so mm -hmm. what we are going to have next, Shafika? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I heard was we have a video. Ooh. Uh huh. Of one of the best performances in Malaysia is theoretical, right? Yes, and uh -huh. it's going to be very amazing. Let's watch it. I can't wait to watch it. Let's watch it together, kids. Take a look. Spectacular it and breathtaking. I almost felt like I was dreaming in a dreamland. Wow, so <laughs> that is one of the most legendary uh, story, story in Malaysia, right? Folklo, yeah. yeah Putri it's... Gunoledang the musical. Mm, who doesn't know Putri Gunoledang? And Mr. Nabil, yeah. how does it uh, have all the performances done so well? Oh, because they have uh, lots of amazing people behind the scenes. Ah, no wonder. And this uh, uh, music.
musical mm -hmm. has been watched by more than 100,000 <gasps> audiences. My goodness, that's In Malaysia a lot. and also in Singapore. Mm -hmm. No wonder it's one of the best performances, huh? Correct. And mm -hmm. I really want to get all of you to know about the best in Malaysia so that we we love Malaysia even of more. Course. Sometimes people do not know that we have the talents and the amazing things uh, in right Malaysia. Here. Correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we don't notice that we can take examples from there. Right. And we have all tra traditions of Malay traditions incorporated and also the clothes like we're wearing right now. Isn't Correct. it pretty? So that's what we have to learn from. The nearest in front of our nose is right there. Correct. Uh -huh. Ms. Uh Bill, okay. Yeah. All right, so we, we are going to have a uh, few uh, activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> activities. And we are going to start with this activity A. Okay. So this is the instructions of the activity A. <gasps> wow. All right, students. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So this is the uh, that's entertainment behind the scenes. All right, let's watch a musical video. Okay, ah, this is the instructions. All mm -hmm. right, so for activity A, instructions. First, listen to the teacher on elements of behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we shared several things before. We did. All right, and then uh, number two, a picture of sections of a theater will be shown to the pupils. Oh, so mm -hmm. I'm going to show them a few sections of a theater. Wow. All right, okay. And then three, uh, match the sections of a theater, which is labeled E A to e, e with the words given. Wow, Mr. Oh. Nabil, just listening to instructions, I'm mm -hmm. already feeling the fun of today's lesson. Yes, mm -hmm. and I can't wait as well. I can't wait too. All right. What are we starting with? Okay, so basically, oh, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is a part of the things that we can get from the Putri Gunoledang, the musical. Uh -huh. All right, so this is the stage. Wow, what can we see, Shafika? Amazing, we can see it's like a boat or is it in front of wow, the village? Wow, it's a ship. It's uh -huh. a ship. It's a ship. And a lot of actors as well. Wow. Oh, I'm missing this so much because of oh. the pandemic. We cannot watch it. Oh, I've been told that it's supposed to be uh, shown to uh -huh. the public mm -hmm. in Istana Budaya very soon. But due to the pandemic, they have postponed it. Uh, at oh. least maybe it's going, still going on in the future. Correct. And we'll just have to wait for that. Yes, and you have to watch it because uh -huh. it's a very huge opportunity. And this is the props. Oh, could you guess which one is the props? Which one is the props? I think it's the fiery uh, stick that the man is handling, uh, holding. All right. Is that right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's just like the Olympic torch. It is <laughs> just like that. Yes. Is that real fire? Yes, that is the real fire. Yeah. Oh, how do Amazing. I know so much about this? Yes. Because I was one of the ensemble or the cast of Putri Gunadang the musical wow. in 2009. And guess who is this? Hmm, who is that? Is that you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a difference. But yeah. you look good. Yeah, I was in blue and mm -hmm. I look very thin, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Okay, let's go to the next part. Mm -hmm. All right. So I this is the backstage. You, Mr. Ah, yeah. Nabil, what character were you holding that oh, time? I was one of the Datuk Bentara Dalam. <gasps> oh, you so, played the evil character. Uh, no. No? <laughs> Basically, uh, I'm helping to give information from the palace oh. to the citizens of Malacca. Wow, my uh -huh. knowledge of the story is weak. I need to learn more. <laughs> yeah, and I hope every one of you, if you get this opportunity, watch it on theatre, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So this is the backstage of Putri Gunodang, the musical. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, so this is the replication of the Mount of Ledang. Wow. So Gunung Ledang is Mount Ledang. Uh -huh. uh, so this is how they replicate and this uh, has been put, had been put mm -hmm. behind the curtain. So it's on the backstage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there are lots of things behind the, uh, behind the curtain basically or backstage okay. of the musical theatre. Mm -hmm. It's quite chaotic as well sometimes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the dressing room. Okay, sometimes people quite confused uh, between costumes and dressing room. But it's okay, we are going to learn it accordingly. Alright, okay. so this is the part where we will wear the costume to adjust, to put things together ah. so that we will look nice on stage. Right. All right. So normally this is the assistant and this is 
Me. Well, that's you still. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But I didn't recognize you there. Yeah, I think yeah, I was so young. It's and been I'm a not, while. I'm not that old now, <laughs> but I was so young that time. It was back in 2009. Uh -huh. All right, and this is Akma Surati Awa, which is the costume designer of Putri Gunoledang, the musical. Mm, oh, so there are lots of people behind the uh, in the room as well. Yes. Okay. Sometimes people call it wardrobe. Sometimes people call costumes. Basically, wardrobe is the where people put the clothes, mm -hmm. like the cupboard, wardrobe. But costume basically the whole, the collective ideas of costumes. Uh -huh. So the whole costume is put in the costume. It's normally labeled as, uh, labeled as costumes. Costumes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So we have the designer and we have the tailors as well. All the costumes inside the costume That means part. the tailors are also in the room. Come again? That means the tailors are also in the room. Yeah, sometimes. Wow. They are helping out if, let's say, they are errors or alterations. things to, yeah, alterations as okay. well. Oh, now we are going to do the activity A. Ha! Everybody! Uh -huh. ha. Who's ready? So, so uh, did you listen to whatever that I have said just now? Yes. Oh, yes. Do you, okay. Do you find it very interesting? Yeah. yeah, very interesting. All right, yeah. okay. So, are you ready for the activity? Mm -hmm. If you are ready, put the double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Okay. All right, wonderful. Oh, you, uh, you guys look very, very colorful. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, for this activity, we are going to match the sections of the of a theater, mm -hmm. uh, which has been labeled as A to E with the words below. below. Okay. All right. So. Oh, okay, so these are the words. Costume, backstage, dressing room, and stage. stage. So you have to choose whether it's A, B, C, or D. Okay, ah, during the commercial break, I told you that you have to prepare some, uh, what we call a card or something to show your answer, right? Mm -hmm. With the, uh, uh, it's either A, B, C, or D. So are you ready? So for the first questions, I'm going to say it, costume. I will count one, two, three, and then I want everyone to put up your answers. Can you do that? Mm-hmm, at the same time. Yes. All right. Yes. Wonderful. Great. Okay. So for costume, what do you think? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D? D. Uh huh. Which one is okay. it? Okay. So are you ready? One, two, two three. Answers. B D D B. Okay. B D D. Oh. Inverted D. We have one person answered B. I think Hannah, yours is upside down. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other side, it's mirrored. It's mirrored. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay. Great. All right. So the answer is D or B. Okay, we are not so sure. So let's take a look on the screen to know the answers. Okay, one, two, three. The answer is. D. D. Oh, sorry if I, mm -hmm. uh, it's not B, but I do understand yes. why sometimes people confuse with this room. Why? Because if you can see, there is a person who are going to the door and then try to put, put on, on the, clothes. the clothes. So maybe no people thought that the word dressing room is related to the costumes as well. I agree All because right. it's dressing, right? Yeah. It's a bit confusing there. But it's okay. We are learning. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Ifan. Good Thank job. Thank you, guys. Okay, for the next word, <gasps> which is backstage. Mm -hmm. All right. So backstage. One. Okay, you ready? Sorry, I forgot to ask you guys. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. What's your answer? B, 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 B. B. Oh, B. oh, everybody answered hmm. B. Is All right, let's congrats. take a look at the answer. And the answer for backstage is wow. B. Wow. Good, Good job, job, everyone. All right. Very focused okay. today. Let's take a look on number three dressing room. Okay, okay are you ready, guys? One, two, a three. three. Answers up. Ooh. Uh -huh. Oh, ah, all right. Okay, so everybody answered C. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's take a look on the answer. So, number three, dressing room. The answer is C. C. Good job. Correct. And last but not least. All right, of stage course. one, two, three. Answer. Definitely, A. that is the only Ooh, answer that there we you go. have over here. And <laughs> the, the answer is stage. Mm. Good job, everyone! Everyone's <laughs> focused today. Good job. Wow. So at least it 
have, uh, they have listened mm -hmm. and look at the pictures and get to know about the backstage of a uh, theatrical performances. Yes, of course. Uh, you told me earlier today's focus is about listening, and after that, uh, of course, for our uh, uh, lesson today, we're going to speak more to uh, answer the questions. All right, kids. All right. Uh, we're going for a short break first, but we'll be right back with uh, Mr. Nabil and I for that's entertainment behind the scenes, and we'll be right back. See you then. Welcome back to Teras at Didi TV KPM. You're still with me, Kat Shafika, and also our very own Mr. Navil to learn the English language. But today we're focusing on uh, uh, listening, which mm -hmm. is a very important part of today's lesson. But before that, Mr. Navil, let me say we have a wonderful stage today. Correct. Mm -hmm. we, because we want to uh, correlate it with the idea of entertainment. Entertainment. And also, it represents the colours. Yeah. As the Jalu Gemilang as well. We have yellow, we have red, red we, we have, have white. Blues, and we have lots of uh, flags as yes. well in the studio. Okay. Wonderful, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to learn more on that entertainment. Yes, Ooh, me too. There are lots of pictures over here and also the posters. Okay, so what, what we are going to have after this, we are going to have a speaking activity just a little bit. Okay. All right. On hot questions. Oh, hot questions. Wow. Ooh, it's going to be very hot, mm -hmm. which is the higher order, order thinking, thinking skills. skills. All right. So, where would you find props in the theatre? It's mm -hmm. very easy. You can be creative on your answers and please define your answers as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... I'm going to ask for volunteers. I think it will be nice that way. Of All right? course, yes. Okay, who would like to uh, volunteer All right, to answer this part? Shall I repeat the questions? Where would you find props in the theatre? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we just yes. introduced them with four parts. Mm -hmm. uh, on uh, the elements of behind the scenes. Okay. Which is the backstage. Backstage. The stage. The stage. Mm, Dressing room. Dressing room. And, and the costumes. costumes. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. So, who wants to go first? Put up your hand. Me, 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 me. Oh, wonderful. Good job. Oh, very energetic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ipan. What can you say about the props? Where would you find props in the theatre? Mm -hmm. Where? During the show, mm -hmm. props will only be visible only to the actors at the backstage. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, but, the answer is backstage. Oh, why is it so, Ivan? Mm hmm. What's your reason for that? Because the actors can access it easily. Oh. Oh. So the backstage. Oh, yeah. Correct. So mm -hmm. the answer is backstage, right? So it's nearer to the stage. Yes. Oh. So they can use it. Take it, oh yeah, because mm -hmm. you're getting ready for the show. All right. Oh. If it's too far, it's too slow. Yeah, it's so so great for me to hear that answer because uh -huh. it's quite rare. I what? did not expect that, but good job, Ivan. Good job, Ivan. All right, okay, next person. Oh, who who like wants to, to volunteer? Go? Uh, yeah. Mashita. Oh, Mashita. Oh, okay. okay. You want to go next? So, Mashita, what would you like to say about the... Props. Uh, where would you find props in the theatre? Mm -hmm. I think props can be seen on the stage. On oh, the stage. Ah, definitely. But can you define your answers? Why you say it's on the stage? Mm -hmm. Because props are being used by the actors during the show. Mm. 
Ooh, such no wonderful one, answer. Thank you, Mashita. Good job. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes oh. people don't think about that, but actually, yes, the props are actually on the stage. Correct, and they are using the props on the stage. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I just want to have an additional question. Okay. Uh, okay, who, are, who wants to answer this? Mm, uh, how and why people have props on stage? Huh? Why do people uh, have props on stage? Uh, can, ah. can somebody define that? That's another hot question. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just want to have fun. Okay, who wants to say about that? Me, me. Oh, Nakib. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Okay, Nakib. Well, what do you think about that? I think it is because of how props normally show during the play. For example, mm -hmm. the torch is used during the night scene. And the curries will be used by the actors as a traditional melee weapon. <gasps> oh, wow. I forgot about the curries as well. Oh, of course. A hey, wonderful job, Naki. Good job. Mm -hmm. Give a big clap to yourself. He's very detailed. Wow. Good yes, job. Yes, I love that answer. Yes, props sometimes determine the situation mm -hmm. or the environment of that particular scene. Mm -hmm. So the torch can represent the night time of that particular scene. Yes. Uh -huh. I and agree. the curries will show the character of the actor uh -huh. and also to show that one of the weapon of. Uh, one of the Malay weapon, right? Uh -huh. Naki, good job. Good, good job, job, Naki. Uh -huh. I agree. And one more, Mr. Nabil. Yeah. When you talk about night time to produce on the stage, it's very dark. Correct. So that's the responsibility of the CCU and lighting crew. Correct. Ah, wow. So it's good for you to relate that to the audience mm -hmm. as well so that you can know the importance of the backstage people yes. uh, in a production like this and also in the production like the musical theatre. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we are going to have the listening segment again. Okay, okay another listening segment. Alright, All right. so let's listen. Things on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Alright. The instruction is going to be like this. Okay, for activity C, first, an audio on sections of a theatre will be played twice. Okay, we are going to let you listen once and then uh, we are going to play it one more time for you to check your answers. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, all pupils will show their answers like what you did in the previous uh, segment. All right. And the third one, the correct answer will be given after all participants showed their answers. All right. It's going to okay. be very easy. Okay, guys, are you ready? Are you guys ready? Yes. Thumbs up. Yes. All right. yes. Wonderful. Okay. okay. Great. So, we are going to listen to the audio. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's take a listen. Listening, Unit 10, page 126, C. 1. The feeling you get when you're standing on it is magical. When you feel the heat of the lights and know all of those people are watching you, it's very exciting. 2. Most people prefer to work at the front of the theatre, doing the lights or sound. But I like working here. You don't see the audience, but you get to meet the actors and musicians, and it's good fun when everyone is excited about the performance before they go on stage. 3. Our school play this year is quite difficult for us backstage. The actors have a scene where they all eat around a table. So we've got chairs, cups, plates, food and drink. Knives, forks, and all sorts back here. It's a complete mess. 4. There isn't much room in here. There are 15 girls in the play, and we all put our costumes on in here. You have to be very organised, or you start losing things. 5. I'm very lucky because in this play, I wear some beautiful things. The dresses are especially lovely. It's great to be able to wear different styles. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. If you can see the pronunciation, it's quite different from the Malaysian's pronunciation. It right? is. It's because, a bit British. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because we are learning the British pronunciation. Ah, ah the British English. Okay. So that is why the textbook nowadays, mm -hmm. they are exposing this to the students the pronunciation so that we are familiar with the way of the British people say uh, or things in English. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, is it difficult for every one of you? Can you guys say something about it? Was it clear? 
All right. So we are going to listen one more time. Can we do that one more time? Yes. Okay, so yes. I want you to check your yes. answers to make sure mm -hmm. your answers is correct. Okay, let's listen one more time on the audio. Okay. All right. Perhaps also, Mr. Nabil, for yeah. uh, pupils out there, they can write down all the information Correct. from this audio. So, so listen carefully. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a, let's listen to the audio. Listening, Unit 10, page 126, C. 1. The feeling you get when you're standing on it is magical. When you feel the heat of the lights and know all of those people are watching you, it's very exciting. 2. Most people prefer to work at the front of the theatre, doing the lights or sound. But I like working here. You don't see the audience, but you get to meet the actors and musicians, and it's good fun when everyone is excited about the performance before they go on stage. 3. Our school play this year is quite difficult for us backstage. The actors have a scene where they all eat around a table. So we've got chairs, cups, plates, food and drink, knives, forks and all sorts back here. It's a complete mess. 4. There isn't much room in here. There are 15 girls in the play and we all put our costumes on in here. Mm -hmm. You have to be very organised or you start losing things. Five. I'm very lucky because in this play, I wear some beautiful things. The dresses are especially lovely. It's great to be able to wear different styles. Wow, okay. amazing. Wow, what oh. a lot of information. Correct. Mm -hmm. And we are going to do it according to numbers, right? Okay. So we have number one, two, three, four and, and five. five. All right. Okay, guys, are you ready with your answers? Mm -hmm. Are we picking one by one or all of them all together? Okay, let's do it all together okay. so that everyone have the experience and try it out whether you guess it right or wrong. Okay, for okay. number one, they are talking about something very magical, very spectacular. The feeling was so amazing. The lights. So number one, mm -hmm. what is your answer? One, two, three. Stay. 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 Oh, okay, Ipan. What is your answer? For you? <laughs> okay, Ipan. Let's wait for Ipan. Okay. There oh, you go. okay, stage as well. Great. Oh, wonderful job. Okay. Is that correct, Mr. Nabil? Hey, let's we let's check the answers. Uh -huh. So the answers for number one is Stage! Good, Good job. job! Wow. Okay, let's take a look. Your answers on number two. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? One, two, three. three. Put up your answers. Backstage, backstage. Backstage, backstage, backstage. And Alia, backstage as well. Uh -huh. All right. Let's take a look whether the answer is correct or mm -hmm. wrong. Because they talk about something very chaotic behind the scene and whatnot. Yes. Okay, the answer is backstage. backstage. Good Mr. job. Nabil, I yeah. have a question. I think I noticed Ms. Uh, Alia uh -huh. is showing backstage room. Can we say that as well? Um, normally, uh -huh. we do not say backstage room. Oh. Because in backstage, mm -hmm. we have plenty other rooms. Oh. Yeah, and the rooms normally labelled into certain things such as the dressing room, the costumes, costumes and, uh, and other many other places. Well. Uh, oh. yeah. So it's okay. not a room, it's just a big uh, it's space It's a space, a very big space okay. behind the scene, behind mm -hmm. the stage. Uh -huh. Alright, All right. number okay. three. So number three, what is your answer? One, One two, two, three. Show your answers. Wow. Ooh. Oh, they talk about uh, this um, uh, uh, play mm -hmm. or the, the performance uh, in the school, they mm -hmm. said, uh, the person said, okay. it's very difficult because there's a scene where people eating and doing things about uh, dining. Yes. All right, so they are having props like... Um, like the common area. Uh -huh. Aha, and also the food. The, the food, fork. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what is the answer? And the answer is... Wow. Bro, good, good job. job. All right. Excellent. Okay. Ah, all right. So let's take a look on number four. So what is your answer for number four? Ready? One, One a two, two, a three. three. Show your answers. 
dressing room. Dressing Ooh, room, dressing, dressing rooms. rooms. Oh, because they, uh, because the, they say that it's small space. Yes. Uh, a lot. Uh, there a are lot fifteen of pe girls. Girls, yes. Uh -huh, uh, wearing dresses. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's so? take a look. What is the answer for number four? And number four is. Uh, why not we wait for number five as well? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it won't be... It's there already, yeah, the answer. Yeah, it's there already. So, uh -huh. let's take a look on... Okay, let's go with number five as well. Can we do that, guys? Okay. All right. Okay, so, what? question number five. One, two, two three. three. Show your answers. Costumes. Costumes. All right. Okay. okay, let's take a look at mm -hmm. number four and number five. The answer for number four is... Dressing, dressing rooms, rooms and number five is costumes. Uh -huh. Good job, everyone! Everyone answered correctly. Excellent. Yay. So, oh. I, I was quite particular about the third one, Mr. Nabil. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Because sometimes, uh, they have uh, food in the dressing rooms as well or no? Hmm. Mm. Is that a... Okay, it depends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you okay, we use props mm -hmm. as things that we are going to uh, determine the scenes of that particular play oh. or show. All right. For example, yes. in this studio, mm -hmm. what props do we have? We have Pop the popcorns. Cons. All right, mm -hmm. the mask. mask. And also our national flags. Uh, so yes. these are props. Ah. Why? Because we wanted to, to determine that, okay, we just celebrated our national day. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we want to show something related to the entertainment. That's mm -hmm. why we put the popcorns on the table. No wonder. Ah, so that is why and the functions of Props. Props. Uh -huh. Okay, Miss Nabil. <laughs> now it's more clearer. I hope it's more clearer for you students out there. And we'll take a short break, take our breath, and we'll be right back on Teras Lidia TV KPM. See you then. Lidia TV KPM. Lidia TV KPM. And we're back on Teras Diri TV KPM. We're, early, we're learning the English language. And as Mr. Nabil said just now, we're learning the British English language. That means for audios, for whatever um, uh, education is being learned in the classroom, mm -hmm. it's referring to the standard British uh, language. Right, Mr. Yeah, Nabil? Yeah, the, the standard British English. Mm -hmm. So basically, mm -hmm. we have American English, we have British English. Yes. It's okay. Uh, as long as you are learning the language, which is going to be very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Just want to differentiate a little bit mm -hmm. and for you to be uh, what we call familiar with the yes. pronunciation. That is why the book, the audio from the textbook mm -hmm. is in British English. Okay. All right, it's wonderful, isn't Great. it? Great, it is. Mm. But Miss Nanabil, I have a question. All right. This is actually one of my favorite part because I I heard there's like the uh, lighting room, the CCU, the audio room, and also the control room, which is Correct. one of the most important aspects in a production. But what about what we're wearing right now? Ooh. How, how are we going to have a look? at the examples Correct. of where we got ready just now. Okay, I'm going mm -hmm. to show to every one of you. Basically, I wanted to bring everyone uh, touring behind the stage, which mm -hmm. is the backstage at the dressing room as well as at the costume. Okay. But since it's very far away from the studio, mm -hmm. it's okay, don't worry. I'm going to show you the pictures of <gasps> the dressing room as well as the... Costumes! Yay! All right. Okay. But before that, okay, mm -hmm. I would like to throw these questions for the students to get ready while I'm explaining about the two rooms. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the hot questions for you guys. All right. What do people do in costumes and dressing room? Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. If you do not know, you're not so sure about the answers, we are going, to, I'm going to show you, we are going to show every one of you mm -hmm. the pictures of the costumes for you to get the answers, to get some ideas, as well as the dressing room. Okay. Okay, are you ready, guys? I'm excited. Are you ready, everyone? Yes. All yeah. right. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a look on the first room. Okay, so let's tour. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is the wow. entrance of the costumes. All right. Okay, if you want to, okay, it is labeled as costumes mm -hmm. with S. Okay, if you want to say 
costume room mm -hmm. or costume department, mm -hmm. they will know as. Okay. All right. Okay. Sometimes, like I said in the very beginning of the show, mm -hmm. uh, some people say is wardrobe. Okay. Uh -huh. Wardrobe basically is the cupboard itself. Wardrobe. All right. But costume is the whole idea of the costumes in the show. Mm. Uh huh. And let's take a look more on what we have in the costume room. Okay. All right. Okay. Because in the UK normally they call it costumes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So eh, hey, there's me over there. Oh, right. that's you <laughs> taking the photo. Oh, I, wa I was wondering who that is. <laughs> All right. So we have oh we have steamed iron. We have lots of costume. Oh, it looks very organized, isn't it? It does. What happens if we do not organize it accordingly? You cannot find what you're looking. For. Correct. It's going to be very troublesome for mm -hmm. every one of us, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's why it looks very, very neat. And good job for the Dead TV KPM good crew. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the person in charge. So they will make sure that everything is according to the label. Mm -hmm. So that easier for everybody to search for the costumes. Right. All right. Okay. Let's take a look on the next room. Let's go to what? the dressing, dressing room. room. Eh. It looks like a barber shop, right? It looks very comfortable <laughs> with the TV. Wow. Yeah, well, there's, there's a TV. Mm -hmm. It's just like look a salon, yes. hair salon. Yes. And also it looks with like a barber mirrors. shop as well with the mirrors. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look inside the room. Let's go inside. Okay. Wow. Oh. Why do we have the televisions? What do you think? Hmm, I think mm -hmm. because sometimes <laughs> when you do your makeup, uh -huh. it takes a long time. Okay. And it's just for um, to relax yourself, uh -huh. for entertainment. Is that true? Yes, mm -hmm. but mm. Ah, there is one important <gasps> element about it. What is it? Which is, if people get ready for the TV show, they want to get to know the timing. Oh, ah, that is why they want to know oh what is going to happen next. Oh, uh -huh. so that is why it's very important for us to get to know about the dressing room, mm -hmm. so that uh, people know the function and why do we need to separate between the dressing room mm -hmm. as well as costumes. Why do you think? I so, think mm. because sometimes when you're uh, in the uh, dressing room, uh -huh. you use the hair dryer mm -hmm. and Correct. then you have to decide which goes suitable for your makeup. Correct. So if there's so much people mm -hmm. and so much clothes going on there, uh, there's going to be messy. It's Correct. not organized. It's going to be very chaotic. Yeah. So it's going to be very difficult for people to find things. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. I agree. All right. Let's go back to what do people do in costumes and dressing room. room. Okay, guys. As oh, usual, hmm. I need another three volunteers. Can we do that? Okay. All right. Okay, who wants to go first? Put up your me, hand. Me, me, me. Oh, ah, great, yeah. Hannah. Wonderful job. Okay, <laughs> Hannah, what can you say about this? What do people do in costumes and dressing room? Well, in the costume department, there's usually a person in charge mm -hmm. of the uh, costumes for mm -hmm. the actors so that when they come in to get their costumes, uh, the costumes are in good condition so they can really showcase their role very well for the play. Wow. wow. What an elaborate answer. Good I job, Hannah. I love your answers. You. Mm -hmm. That is an Thank elaboration you. and you define why do people do things in the uh, costume Costumes department and all, all the costume room, right? right? Which is very, very good. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's true. Uh, there must be somebody uh, take charge of the room so mm -hmm. that it's going to the person is going to help the other actors especially right. to get to know and to get the right thing for them for the show. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, uh, next person. Maybe one last person. Okay, one last person. Uh -huh. Me, me, me. Oh, uh, yeah. Alia, wonderful job. Okay. Uh, in dressing room, people can dress and get ready for their performance. This is where they can make sure the costumes, make up, makeups, and hairdos are put well together. Wow. Makeups, hairdos, and costumes. Oh, mm -hmm. correct. Hey, it's a very, very great answer. Yes. Because, yeah, dressing room is where we put all things together. Mm -hmm. The hairdo, 
uh, not me, but you normally yes, hairdo, right? Yes, hairdo. Okay, if I'm wearing tanjak like this, mm -hmm. I'm not going... Uh, yeah, I, I will prepare myself, I will look at the mirror and I will ask the opinions of the people yes. in charge so that I look nice and comfortable. Because they are experts and they Correct. know what the best look goes on us. So we take the costume from the costume part mm -hmm. and then we put everything together in the dressing room. Right. Wow, we have learned a lot of things a today. A lot. And for that very reason, I hope all the students out there and also online have gathered all the information needed for today and have had fun. That's the most important part, right, Mr. Nabil? Correct. Um, so maybe before we end the show, perhaps a quick recap from you. Okay, a quick <laughs> recap. So basically, we learned four amazing things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. The first one, in the very beginning of the part, we learned about the backstage. And then we enter the stage and then we talk about the dressing room as well, though, as, well as the costumes. costumes. And do not forget the props. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so these are five basic elements which is which are very very important in shows like this as well as musical theater like we showed them previously right wow it's going to be very wonderful for you if let's say you have you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to watch performances like what we have shown you today uh -huh. mm -hmm. i hope so too and because of this pandemic in the near future perhaps there is a chance for us and also perhaps some of you might also have the opportunity to visit the backstage and see for yourself what is happening the chaotic moments but all of it is going to be surely fun uh, talking from my side of experience and also Mr. Nabil just yeah. now. We had so much fun uh, getting ready backstage. So thank you for all of you tuning in to Teras Didi TV KPM. We'll see you again next time at the same time. And don't forget, we just passed our national month, but be in the spirit of National Merdeka. Okay, guys, thank Happy you Merdeka, so much. Happy Merdeka, everyone. Happy Independence Day. Of course. All nations. Thank you, Mr. Nabil. Thank, thank you, students you, online. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, bye! Bye! Konsen Virtual Guru Merdeka Siri Ketiga Hujan emas all artworks, uh, especially poems, songs and lyrics are new and specially made for all the four concerts and carrying positive messages especially related to our 64th National Day. Kami tabur lagi benih kasih di pesisiran ini Biar tumbuh sejuta pohon rendang Bangun bangsa that were virtually organized, including the discussion, rehearsal and recording, which entirely were made by the participating teachers with their own creativity. Through this amazing collaboration, we have created a tremendous group of people who are willing to share various talent and help each other in making the project a success. Merdeka ialah kebanggaan Tetapi perlaksanaan ditapis budi tinggi. Andai gagal membimbing mereka pastinya kamu yang bersalah. Andai berjaya engkau dirupa jasamu. Selama mencoba hilangkan bencana, lenyapkanlah. Teachers Got Talent is never a platform for us to compete, but it is a medium for us to celebrate our talent in a very positive way. It was a very priceless experience to all of us.